So as part of learning how to sort, one of the things that we need to learn how to do is switch two values in an array. For example, if I've got a set of code right here, I'm going to create a list. And I've got a list of items in various order. Now, before I can sort that, I'm going to need to be able to figure out how to switch items. So, for example, if I've got these numbers, I might want to take the smallest element, which is the 14, and move it into the 15 spot. And therefore, I would need to do something with the 15, either hold it temporarily or move it into the 14 spot. So, that would basically be a swap of moving the 14 and 15 back and forth, how do I do that in code? Well, the first thing that somebody might think of doing is to do the following. Let's take list 0 and set it equal to list 2. And then perhaps the next thing we could do is set list 2 equal to less list 0. But before we do that, I'm going to print the list and you can see we have a bit of a problem here because by taking the 14 and moving it over here to the 15 spot, I've completely eliminated the 15. So I can't take 14, I can't take this spot and then next move it over here because the 15 is not there. I'd just be copying the 14 again. And this doesn't work at all. So how exactly do I figure that out? Well, in order to figure this out, let's take a look at this drawing here. What I want to do is take this 14 that I've got, and if I were to draw this out regularly, I would think, well, I'm just going to take this 14, I'm going to draw it here, and get rid of it here. Now all my numbers are in order. Now, that would work great on a piece of scratch paper, but in the computer, the memory is kind of like a little bit of an egg carton. So I can't simply take an egg out of the egg carton, put it over here where there is no egg carton spot, and then cross out one of the spots in the egg carton and pretend it's not there. It just doesn't actually work very well. So what I actually need to do is sort of like what I do with an egg carton. I need to take this 14 and move it to a temporary spot. After I move the 14 to a temporary spot, I want to take the 15, move it up here. And at this point I can take this and move the 14 here and have the two items swapped. So once I've got the item swapped, basically I'm doing it by having a temporary holding spot, just like you would take an egg out of an egg carton, perhaps put it on the table on a temporary spot, move one egg into the new location, and then take the egg and move it back into its proper location. So how on earth would I do that in code? Well, pretty simply, uh, if I back up here a little bit, I can put this 14 into a temp spot. Well, let's see. I'm at 0, 1, 2, 3. I can take my list. Let's say that this is list at position 0. I'm going to set temp equal to it. Then I'm going to take list, oh that's not list 0, that's list 2, excuse me. I'm going to take list 2, set it equal to list 0. That will make this go to 15, temp will be 14. And with one more line, list 0 equal to temp, I'll move this 14 in the temporary spot over here. And I've now switched my two values with this code right here. So practicing this on an actual bit of Python, let's go ahead and recreate our list here. I can set temp equal to list Two, and then set list 2 equal to list 0 and list 0 is equal to temp. Now if I go ahead and print the list I can see I have the two values 
actually swapped just like what I want. So these two values have been swapped from the original list, which I set right here. Now, it's important to remember that when you do these lines of code right here to do the swap, whatever element you set temp to right here is the element that you're going to use over here. So this element then is what you set equal to the temp right here. So this would actually work if this was 0, 0 and this was 2, 2 but you do need to make sure that you get a appropriate matching here and if you draw it out you can kind of figure out how that works because if I had two zero here and I were to draw that out on a picture just like I drew out the correct way I could see that it would not work. That's a brief conceptual introduction on how a swap works for switching two values in an array.